Thiru, respected Thiru Suresh Aurgal, Chairman IGBC, Thiru Sandeep Shirke Shikre, Thiru Prasad Vaida, Thiru Ravchandran Purushottaman, Dr. Valen, Mr. Praveen Rahul, distinguished guests here, panelists, members who have joined for this conference today, my good friend Shankar and everybody at uh, CIA. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be here today. I was actually supposed to be here uh, earlier today, then, but then this invite came in late, so. <laughs> Uh, Tamil Nadu is a busy place today, and my office is uh, even more so thanks to all the amazing interest that uh, we are uh, getting from the investment fraternity all over the world. Um, my finance minister, uh, even my IT minister, uh, both my predecessors in some way, my IT minister, well, my predecessor, predecessor in my IT wing, and my finance minister, who was a predecessor here in this ministry, and both of them more like my mentors. So, uh, both of them have been helping me in many ways also, and especially the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu and his Dravidian model. He's been doing, he's been doing amazing things for the state and the country. Uh, we've been making huge, we've been taking huge strides, uh, especially in sustainability and meeting the climate crisis head on and taking up the challenge and being that state, uh, being that number one state uh, in many ways, uh, we are already, we would also like to be, or we are the, the number one state when it comes to fighting climate change also. So in that sense, Tamil Nadu, as I said, is a very busy place today and we've had uh, amazing a number of uh, new, fresh investments coming in. So I couldn't come in this morning because of a, a series of other meetings. So, but it's good to be here and amazing to see some, uh, a large turnout today. I'm hearing uh, thousands of people have come in and gained out of this conference. Uh, so congratulations to IGBC for uh, doing this in an, uh, this event. And, and doing this on a continuous basis uh, over the years and um, and I've seen, I've heard of some amazing outcome from such, from this uh, conference as such, this congress as such. Ladies and gentlemen, Tamil Nadu does things differently and we've been doing this for a long time. Way back in 2010, my leader Kalengar, he created the first gold rated, gold lead rated uh, assembly complex in the world, not in India, in the world. We did that first. So sustainability and anything green comes naturally to this regime. Uh, it comes naturally to Tamil Nadu. You, you do know that all of us are very passionate about um, the environment. We would like to keep it that way. But I do know that off late, uh, pollution is coming from a lot of uh, uh, new places. Development brings in a lot of pollution on its way. I was in Mumbai for a road show for the Global Investors Meet road show a few weeks back and there was this headline in the papers saying that Mumbai is getting uh, smogged due to the pollution from the construction alone. In Chennai also since 2019, there's been a 20% spike on construction, in, in construction. And construction brings in a lot of the dust. The PM10 increase has been drastic we've seen a lot of pollution coming in from the dust that's coming in from uh, construction itself. So I'm, I'm told that going forward, this is gonna be the scene and we're gonna to have to learn to manage this. And uh, how we bring in green elements into the construction materials is key for us to tackle this issue when it comes to air pollution and pollution per se. Tamil Nadu is the most urbanized state in India. Uh, if you go to any other state, if you go into uh, Karnataka, you can't, uh, you won't be probably able to think of anything beyond Bengaluru or Bangalore or Mysore. But then in, in uh, Telangana, if you go, Hyderabad probably, Gujarat, Ahmedabad, and a few, one more city probably. But in Tamil Nadu, if you look at it, every 
corner of Tamil Nadu is developed. We've taken development to every nook and corner of Tamil Nadu. That's the Dravidian model of uh, governance. And we would like to continue doing that. So when we do that, there's a huge pressure on the environment for building materials. That is something which we are very, very worried about. The Honorable Chief Minister Thiramka Stalin has been, Urgal has been continuously monitoring the exploitation of um, for material for construction. They've been asking us to be very, very careful about conservation. Uh, we are looking at alternate material for construction. We are effectively encouraging every department to come up with green solutions. Uh, over um, the last uh, few, few years alone, uh, I think corporation has issued over 5,000 notices for environmental violation in the city of Chennai, the construction sites in the city of Chennai. So it's something which we are very, very keenly looking at. By 2040, I'm told that almost 230 million tons of uh, uh, CO2 uh, will come from construction of uh, buildings alone. This is an IIT Madras uh, number. So they can't go, they don't go wrong uh, ever. So. We need to be very, very careful about how we go forward. Uh, we will be, as a government, as part of the government and as part of, um, I've already been a part of the planning commission in Tamil Nadu, so I can tell you that the government is looking at a lot of changes in governance per se. We're looking at controlling uh, and ensuring that we reach our net zero targets. India has a net zero target, as rightly said by others here, that it's at 2070. But Tamil Nadu would like to reach that at least a decade prior to that. So we do things differently here, you do know that. And as a, as a, as a state which is adding to the value of the idea of India, we would definitely want to be the numero uno state when it comes to using renewable material, sustainable material, in construction. So um, I would definitely, we would love to see more of recycling of concrete also happen. I think Godrej has gone uh, a, a good way uh, with re recycling of concrete. And then um, we are doing whatever possible uh, in cement manufacturing. We have a state-run unit called the Tansom, uh, which is also uh, doing its bit in, in, um, in getting green cement uh, or so-called green cement into the market. So these are things that we've been um, doing on a regular basis in the government. We've been talking about uh, a lot of innovative things. Uh, through Valen here also spoke about how we've already started speaking about uh, district cooling, uh, which where clusters of building I, uh, henceforth be, be uh, cooled with a centralized cooling system. Uh, these, these need a lot of planning, this needs intervention, uh, these need intervention at the DTCP level, this need intervention at the, uh, at the permission level, the design level, uh, and needs uh, a lot of policy intervention from government. So this government, ladies and gentlemen, will definitely help you, or in fact, uh, make, uh, enable you to uh, take the green road. Tamil Nadu is the greenest uh, state when it comes to energy. Also, we have 50% of renewables already. 50% of that is, 40% uh, of that is solar, 60% of that is wind. We're increasing our capacity for uh, uh, green energy, wind energy. Uh, already there's a, there's a uh, probable notice out for the uh, offshore wind to take off very soon, uh, but they, but our problem with the union is that they're, they're going over the coral reefs, which we will not allow, uh, which we will definitely not allow. Uh, but we will look at a space which is uh, better for the offshore installations. So when you look at your BMS and if you look at your construction materials or whatever um, ideas that you have, please do bring it to the table. Please do bring it to the planning commission's notice, sir. You do know that the amazing work is being uh, done at the planning commission. So I expect all of you to come up with some amazing ideas and share those ideas with the government. This government is ready to listen and ensure that all the requests coming from the industry is taken care of and rapid action is taken on, 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 and if possible on a daily basis to connect with you and see how change can be brought in and ensure that the environment is safe and we build greener buildings going forward. This building, when Kalingar built this uh, building in 2010, this was the first green building, the lead gold certified green building in the world, I said. So going forward, we would like to see 
Chennai coming up with a net zero target for construction alone far ahead of any other state or any other country. We regularly compare ourselves with, with countries and not states. Tamil Nadu is comparable to, it, it would probably be among the top 50 countries in the world if it, was a, if it were a country um, on its own. We are not the, uh, we are not the second uh, biggest economy. We are the first biggest economy if you remove Mumbai from Maharashtra. So, um, <laughs> so I, I do, uh, in the, we do intend to keep going forward and take the greener road, the greenest route possible. So I take this opportunity to thank you for doing this here in Chennai. And very soon you're gonna have an amazing, amazing um, uh, new venue right next to this building here. That's coming up soon. I would have liked, loved to see that have a lead rating also, but some, there has been a issue with that. But anyway, I'm working on that too. So thanks for coming to Tamil Nadu. Give us all the ideas that you can, we will, and, and rest assured that we will listen keenly, deeply, and ensure that we uh, put that idea, put those ideas into action here in Tamil Nadu. Thank you. Cheers. Have a good day.